WorkSafe Victoria is here in Camperdown today for our second Country Club Week of 2024. We're really excited to be here for the big derby between Camperdown and Compton. Camperdown is beautiful. Camperdown's a real thriving little community. We're very fortunate at Camperdown. It's very picturesque. The fantastic avenues of trees, some of the historic architecture. And we're on the main highway, we're on the railway line, we're an hour to the coast, an hour to Warrnambool. Camperdown's iconic for its uh, clock tower. The clock tower is a magnet where people keep coming back. But it's always a saying that uh, the clock tower never moves and you're always welcome home. Farming community, a lot of um, dairy industry and to the north of Camperdown is sheep and beef. The town's you know, very tight in your community. Everyone knows everyone. Some people you don't see on a regular basis. The footy club's a great place to come and um, say good day. I think what is unique too is that we are one club here. If you identify as being in Camperdown, you identify as being part of the Camperdown Football Netball Club. So that's pretty cool. Basically the people that are uh, involved with the town make it a special place. We're a founding member of the Hampton Football Netball League in 1930. And the very first game of football that was played was between Camperdown and Cobden. Today, for our WorkSafe match of the round, we're playing against our arch rivals Cobden. No doubt, both at the netball courts and the footy oval, we'll witness some of that uh, rivalry once again. We've been very lucky to be picked by WorkSafe to host this game. It's really come together terrifically. We had Tom Ward here on a Thursday night and we had three Vixers netballers and they spoke in the rooms. In Country Club Week, WorkSafe is in town to give everyone an opportunity to engage with us, to understand what the WorkSafe message is. And the message is really simple. It's the message around getting home from work safely, both mentally, which is obviously why I'm here to talk about some of the experiences that I've had, but also physically. And we know the two are interlinked and we know that there's obviously a massive uh, culture of people working extremely hard and burnout and fatigue are all big parts of it. So spreading that message is really important. Engaging directly through the community football and netball clubs is exactly the place where we need to be how we can help them in their workplaces to better understand how it is to be safe at work and what it means to be here safe on the weekend. Thursday night dinner, obviously we've got kids from under 10s right through to the senior players. It, it just brings everyone together. We're very proud of our club and our facilities. All of that was driven by our volunteers who built this from the ground up. It provides an outlet for our community members to come along and let off some steam and cheer for the footballers and netballers, but also to engage in that social interaction. Inclusivity in the club is really present. We have probably every young person here that has a role. All of our senior netballers do something, whether it's a permanent job of coaching the juniors, they may score, team manage, we're all part of it. One, two, three, five. Let's go. The culture that that fosters is a really positive one, and we know that we've got I guess each other to rely on. A group of magpies is a tribe, so our magpie tribe is that culture, it's a tribe. Any time we play against Cobden is a big day. There was some high expectations at the start of the year, so unfortunately we're zero and four at the minute. They're probably going into the game favourite. It will be buzzing. We're really hoping we can break the duck today and beat Cobden. There's a lot of respect between the, the two towns. You never want to lose to your town rival, that's for sure. Today in our senior footy, we have Will Robottom, our ruckman, playing his 100th senior game. He's been a junior, come up through the junior ranks. Here at Camperdown, that gets you your name on the locker. That'll be there forever. It's just a great achievement within itself to be playing 100 games at the Wayne Club. We're super proud of Will. Will's very excited to be playing his 100 against Cobden. Nothing bigger than playing against Cobden. Couldn't have worked out better, really. We've had a really successful day. With all the build up and everything and to come out uh, with a, I think it was a nine goal win. Uh, just really wrapped with the boys and the club for everyone. Like there was a huge crowd today. 
support's always great. Like, win, lose or draw, you can go into your change rooms after the game and it'll be full. Obviously, we spoke about War 0 and 4, but uh, hopefully we've got our year back on track. So, yeah, it's been a really good day.